Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we are going to solve a problem when we are given a string with the length of n, which can contain only four characters, q, w, e, and r. And also we are given another input where um, this string is considered balanced if the each character is repeated only and divided by four times. So for example, in this case, the size of this string is four, four divided by four, one. So each character is repeated once so it's considered a balanced string so this string is considered balanced so what we need to do we need to return the minimum length of a substring that we can replace in our string in order to make it balanced so for example in this case we have q q w and e and also n divided by four gives us one so q is repeated twice if we would replace q with the r here uh, then we are we are going to have a balanced we are going to have a balanced um, string. So what what we need to do? So let's take one example. Let's take an example. Let's say we have a, how we are going to solve this problem, right? So we let's take this example. Let's say Q, Q, W, W. And uh, let's say that we have here R, R and uh, Q. First thing that uh, let's do, let's do following. Let's first just calculate the how many times we have four characters, right? How many times Q, how many times uh, W, how many times R and E is repeated in this string. So Q is repeated four times, W is twice, R is repeated twice, and the E is repeated zero time. So what's gonna be our approach? Our approach is that we are gonna use two pointer approach we're going to have a left pointer and the right pointer and we are going to move our right pointer and uh, as we are moving we are going to subtract the, the the character the number of the the character for example in this case we are moving our r here and we are subtracting now we have three q's right and we are going to move until we have that the, each character is repeated in our each character is repeated in our string um, n divided by four times. So for example, n divided by four in our case is two because the size of the string is uh, eight. Eight divided by four gives us two. So each character is repeated. So for example, this character is repeated three times. So we are again moving our right pointer. We are moving our right pointer here. And uh, now the size of the, the size of the, the, Q is repeated twice, right? So now if we check, each character is repeated twice or less. So which means that the, this part of the this part of our string, this part is balanced, and we need to only this part is uh, this part is not causing a problem. This part is balanced, and we need to only replace this part of our string in order to make it fully balanced. Okay. So for example, this part, right? Okay, now we moved our right pointer. We, we know that, that this is the substring that we need to replace. But can we make it this substring? Can we shrink it? So let's move our left pointer and then add the value of our Q to our, to our total sum, right? So we are moving our left pointer and the value is three. No, we cannot. So which means that, that this is the value of the, this is the substring that, that we need to replace. So it's gonna be R minus L plus one, in our case, one minus zero plus one, which gives us two, which we are gonna re return as a result. Okay, first thing that we are gonna do, we are gonna calculate how many times each character is repeated in our string. So for that, let's create an array of integers where we are gonna store that value. And let's make it 26, size of the alphabet, and um, now let's do that. So for our character, let's call it C and uh, S, let's convert it to array of strings. So array of the uh, array of the characters, sorry. So to uh, character array, and uh, we are gonna add the increment that in our, in our array of integers. So characters, C minus, we are taking A because it's only capital letters and we are incrementing that here. So now we have, now we have 
counted all the characters, how many times they are repeated in our string. So now we can go and define the minimum, the substring with the minimum length. So for that, let's do that. Let's create our right pointer and um, that we are going to move and uh, R is R is going to be less than S length. And uh, R plus plus. So we are going to move our right pointers. First thing that we are going to do, we are from our characters from our characters, we are going to take the whatever the character is there. So we are going to take s character at r character at r minus a. And we are going to decrement that. So we are we are starting to move our left our right pointer. So let's also create here two variables. One of them is the target one of them is the target, which is s length divided by four. And another one is our left pointer, which is let's set that to zero. So now at each step, what we are going to do, we are going to check that the if our, the, our characters, if the count of our characters is less than our less than our target. So at each step, we are going to check that. And we are going to do that in while loop. I'm going to explain in a second why. So what we are doing here, we are taking that um, characters. First, let's do the Q. Q minus A. It should be it should be less than or equal to our target, right? To our target. And and we are gonna, we need to repeat that for two more three more cases. We need to repeat that for W. And we need to repeat that for we need to repeat that for W and uh, we need to repeat that for W we need to repeat that for R and we need to repeat that for E. If this condition is met, which means that uh, we need to now start to move our left pointer. So to do that, first thing, let's just do reverse what we did here. We are going to increment now. We are going to increment our characters, right? And uh, besides that, increment. So it means that we are starting to move. We found already our substring. Now we are shrinking that. So we are starting to move our left pointer. Uh, so now at each step, also let's uh, our let's take our result. Let's take our let's update our result. So for that, let's call the minimum function, which we are pass our result and uh, r minus l. So left pointer minus uh, left point, right pointer minus left pointer and the uh, plus one since it's a zero indexed. And let's create here our result int result, right, which we for now, let's set it at the beginning, let's add to length of our length of our string. So and we are going to return that value. So as we exit, we are going to return return the result here. Okay, so now we are updating that updating. Let's update our result here. We are updating our result and also we are moving our left pointer. Okay, let's, uh, let me see. Yeah, that should be it. Let's run it. Okay, uh, let's put here one more condition L should be less than S length. And uh, also let's put here, let's replace it with the L we forgot to do that. Okay, let's run it one more time. Okay, great, it works as expected. 
and let's calculate the time and space complexity. What's the time complexity in this case? Time complexity is we are going over our array once only, so it's going to be of n. And uh, since we are not using any extra space, our, our space complexity is going to be constant in this case of 1. Okay, I uh, hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.